What's going on guys, Richard the official Auto channel and Reese.com and today I'm here in Biota Aquariums to check out some of their amazing new clams that they have in stock. How are you doing Jake? Pretty good, how about you? Good, good. Now tell me about this new clam that you guys got in stock. So these guys are pretty cool, they haven't really been in the hobby for a while. Uh, I think the last time they were really in bulk like this was like 90s, early 2000s. These are uh, Hippopus Hippopus. So they're not the most colorful clams as you can probably see, mm -hmm. but they're honestly the one of the coolest species because they can clean up the like aquarium so quickly. Like we throw a lot of phyto, a lot of different foods in the tanks and mm -hmm. within like an hour or two, the entire 800 gallon system is pretty spotless. Now, one thing that I really, really noticed about this one is that is like they have no mantle. Yeah, so these guys actually don't open up over the shell. The, they kind of extend out a little bit further than a lot of the other species. Mm -hmm. The coloration is really similar to like a Durasa, and they just kind of stick to that at the length that they can open up to, and that was kind of it. Gotcha. And then like these, how fast do they grow? Because it, it seems like there's a lot of big ones over here. Yeah, it's actually super quick. Um, we've had these specific ones kind of quarantining at our facility for about a month now, and you can already see on some of them, there are some growth rings. You can see some new growth, some really bright white growth. Yeah. And they suck out calcium and alkalinity like it's their job. Really? Yeah. And you mentioned earlier um, they, they, they are really excellent filter feeders. How? Now tell me a little bit more about that. How well do they work? Uh, super well. So we feed all of our clams uh, kind of a mixture of phyto and a couple other things. Um, and this tank in particular is mostly hippopus. There's a couple of Chrysias in here. Yeah. Um, but when you compare it to like a Crucia or Maxima tanks, like it's insane. It's like about a third the time they completely turn over the tank and it's just, it's almost, it's, it's really insane. You see like a tank full of dirty stuff, pollutants, and you see put a couple of clams in there and yeah. you see how things clear up. So like these, you think this is like the, one of the best ones to clear up your stuff in your aquarium? Yeah, I think even if you don't even like clams too much, if you throw one of these in your tank just to kind of polish it, it almost acts as a filter. Like. Our nitrates, our phosphates, everything is low in these tanks because they just filter it out so well. And you do feed these very heavily, right? Yeah, super heavily. We're very heavy handed. We use uh, almost about a liter of uh, phytoplankton per tank a week. Uh, wow. Since you have put them in your quarantine tank for a month, do you notice anything changes from the wild, like the colorations or anything like that? Yeah, uh, I've noticed depending on kind of what kind of algae you feed or different kind of foods, they do change color a little bit. Sometimes they get a little bit darker. Sometimes really? a little bit lighter. Um, the cool thing is they kind of congregate and move towards like the center of our radion. So you can see like there's a large grouping here, a large grouping here, right under each radion. Um, so they do, they can definitely take a lot of uh, light, but they are really good filter feeders. Gotcha. You know, I think one of your employees also told me that uh, they also clean up biotons. Yeah, he put uh, one of these four inch guys in his uh, 25 gallon lagoon tank. Um, wow. And he had a really bad diatom issue and uh -huh. within three days, he, he went on vacation, he came back and all the diatoms were gone. Really? So this thing also sucks in silicates? Yeah. It, it kind of polishes everything out of the water, which is good and bad. I mean, if you're running a low nutrient system, it's probably pretty good. Um, so you can just kind of target feed and spot feed the tank. Uh, gotcha. But if you're running a high nutrient system, it really kind of won't be a high nutrient system for long. And you said that these are excellent filter feeders. Let's put that to the test. Yeah. All right. All right, Jake, so what do you got there? All right, so we have uh, Reef Nutrition's Shellfish Diet, uh, 1800. So this is kind of what we feed all of our, our clam and coral tanks. Uh, we mix it in with some other stuff. Um, the hobbyist version is the SE Aquarius mix. It's uh, basically the same thing, um, but you can get this to feed your own clams. And uh, we're gonna pour some of this into uh, a, a tank with a couple of hippopus and see how quickly they can actually uh, clean it out. This demonstrates uh, how good these clams are at actually filter feeding your aquarium. Perfect, let's do it.
All right, guys, so we just finished our experiment with the Popis. I would like to do a little bit more until it was completely clear, but the, the time that was available to us wasn't just enough yet for this. But however, you could see from here that it cleared up tremendously. I also partially blame the, the aquarium not clearing as fast as I would like to to Chad Clayton. What, what do you think? <laughs> His algae is just too concentrated. It's too good of a product. Yeah, uh, yeah, I agree. This thing doesn't, this thing is just so, so thick. Uh, yeah, next time he's got to water it down a bit. I think so. But you've seen what they do, you've seen how they work. If you're in the market for clams, be sure to try them out and check them out. All right, thanks guys. Have a great day. Have a good one. All right, guys, so we experimented a little bit with the hippo. Ah. All right, hippo piss. Okay. Oh, I had like nothing and I just monster and it just caffeine rushes just, <laughs> just hitting me in full. Yeah. <sighs> okay.